Judging by the comments that I often see on the videos, it looks like I need to make a dedicated video about springtails. Even though I recently did, I was setting up some enclosure, I don't remember which one is it, but I did a quick overview on the care of springtails, how to care for springtails. Apparently that wasn't enough, so this will be another video that is just dedicated for that. So for all of you that need to know how to care for them, there will be this video. And now in the future when someone needs a care video, you can just be pointed to this exact video, instead of short part of another video that is not related to springtails. So springtails care. It is extremely, extremely simple. Here I have two of my colonies. One, as you can see, they are being kept on moist substrate, that is cocoa fiber together with some other stuff. It's not really important, but the other colony, is kept, in my opinion, better, at least easier to maintain and operate. You see, this is charcoal, and under that charcoal you can see there's water. So basically this is the most simplest way of keeping them. Charcoal and water, and the reason why, they're jumping out, and the reason why I prefer this to the cocoa fiber or any other sort of substrate, it is really easy to introduce part of these springtails into a new enclosure. I just take a piece of charcoal, you see, it is crawling with springtails and I just blow them off like and they just fall right off and it is really most easiest way to do that if you have smaller pots smaller pots filled with charcoal then you can fill it entirely with water and the springtails will actually float on the surface and you just dump that water into new enclosure and you will transfer all the springtails into new enclosure it's that simple so other than having water and high humidity for them you see I don't have any holes on this so Inside there is huge, huge humidity. You have actual water down here and you see condensation all the time. They love it like that. And no holes, but this top lid is not actually airtight. You see there is, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but there is a bit of wiggling space. So the air can still circulate inside and it is just tiny amount of air ventilation. Really, really tiny, but it is more than sufficient for them. They don't consume a lot of air. And then for feeding, once you have the humidity down, Feeding is also extremely simple. You see this? These are just rice grain and you just dump it inside. And I do that like once a week. And the springtails actually don't eat the rice, but instead they eat the mold that appears on the rice. So mold slowly breaks down the rice and they, springtails, eat the mold. And that is all. That's the entire care for springtails. In case you don't know, but since you're watching my videos, I assume that you probably know. The reason for having a colony of springtail is you need them for bioactive terrariums. So when you have like live plants and animals in your enclosure, you always want to add springtails because as already said, they eat the mold, they eat the decaying matter, like the decaying leaves, leftover pieces of food, tarantula poop. They will eat all of that and therefore they are extremely beneficial part of live vivarium. I mean bioactive vivarium, terrarium, paludarium, whatever. That's their main purpose, together with isopods. Isopods together with springtails are called the cleaning crew of the enclosure. That's the reason why. And I will also show you, I mean I will try to show you, I will take the macro lens for that. Even if you don't introduce springtails in your enclosure, sometimes, often, they can appear on their own together with mites. And let me show you how exactly springtails looks like, so you can easily distinguish them with mites. I mean distinguish them from mites. So here are they. Notice the way they are shaped. Their body is like, you see, long, while mites have round bodies. And their movement, you see, it is like a short burst. They don't have a continuous movement, while mites, they move continuously and slowly. Unfortunately, I don't have the footage of mites, so I can't really show you, but once you know how springtails look, you will never mistake them for mites. So in case you see these in your enclosure, a-okay. In case you see mites, keep an eye on that enclosure. You will always have a certain amount of mites in your enclosure, that's unavoidable, but if population starts growing and you can notice them more often, that's when you need to worry, usual. And also having the springtails in your enclosure, they compete for food with mites. So, more springtails, less mites. It's that simple. I think I covered everything that I have to say about mites. I mean, I mean springtails. You just get a bunch, start your colony, make a setup like this, and eventually you will have a ton of them. Super easy to care for. So, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every <coughs> Monday. Something's <coughs> wrong with my voice. 
Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye.